Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of All Things IDA. In this episode I'm going to show you how to set up WinDebug to use with IDA. This is in preparation for future videos to come. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is simply switch the debugger in our database and select WinDebug debugger. Uh, if we do that just by default and start running, we uh, we are already running under WinDebug engine, basically the debugger engine, dbgeng.dll. But the problem is we are using the default one from the past. Most likely this is picking up the one from uh, System32. We can verify that by, uh, let's say, using uh, this internal tools, for example. We go to the IDA process and for the loaded modules if we look for dbgeng we can see it's picking up the one in system 32 so this is not what we want let's stop debugging and uh, let IDA uh, pick the proper location so the first thing is we need to download when debug so one way is to go to the Microsoft website and download the debugging tools. This will give us the legacy debugging tools, the older WinDebug with the older uh, graphical interface. <coughs> so to get that, the, the older WinDebug, we can uh, download the Windows SDK, se select the uh, debugging tools, it will be installed and so on. Uh, if you already have the SDK and so on, maybe you don't necessarily need to, to do that. You can simply get the latest WinDebug engine uh, in a much easier way. We can get it through the WinDebug preview from the Microsoft Store. So if we, uh, if we go to the store and uh, search for WinDebug preview, we can uh, basically download it. So I already have downloaded it. I'm simply going to run it. Now that it's running, all I have to do is go to its installation folder and grab the packages that I need. So I'm going to open Task Manager and look for dbgx shell. This is the UI that uses the newest debugger engine. So right click, open file location, and let's follow that path. So in the WinDebug, it's a modern Windows app we can see here, and that's the package. What we have here, we have uh, AMD64, this is what we want. These are the binaries that contain the latest uh, debugging engine. So that's the one we want. But not only that, we will benefit from all the extensions like Windows XP extensions, other Win extensions, and so on. So there's a lot of extensions, JavaScript support, uh, visualizers, and so on. So this is the whole folder, even the time travel debugging, by the way, which we'll be covering in the future. So this is pretty good. So all I have to do is simply take a copy of this and put it in my favorite location, uh, wherever you want. So I'm going to put it in my tools folder, dbgeng, and uh, that's it. <coughs> now we can either add this to the path or simply configure IDA to pick it up. I will configure IDA to pick this location up. And uh, just for information, other things that you find in the debug preview, I don't know why it ships in this particular package, but we have like the ARM binaries as well, which on the current system, we have no use of those uh, ARM binaries. So these are not, uh, not going to run on x86. Uh, so anyway, so now uh, that we have uh, copied the latest debugging engine from debug preview. We don't need debug preview anymore. We can close it. And now we need to open IDA CFG. So let's open IDA CFG from the IDA installation and search for dbgeng. That's where we're supposed to update the current, the, uh, to point to the latest debugger engine location, debug engine DLL. So we simply uncomment that line and uh, make it point to where we copy it. So here I'm going to copy this and uh, simply uh, update it here. And that should be that should be it. Now I just have to restart IDA and we should be good to go. So let's see. Run IDA and uh, reopen the database still have WinDebug active uh, selected as a debugger. Let's uh, run the process. 
and let's double check so here indeed now it says it picked up the proper when debug so that's that's good now we're using the latest when debug with the latest extensions in case you don't know when debug integrates properly with ida so here we have access to the when debug command uh, command line interpreter we can type things here that uh, we can normally type in when debug so if you like the the best of both worlds you like the debugger engine and its uh, powerful extensions but you still like to use ida and uh, also the decompiler and its scripting this is the good scenario to use when debug plugin within ida so this basically this is the when debug engine where we can interface with it and also still use ida so every time here we're single stepping and so on that's exactly uh, being handled by the debugger engine and so here for example we can use the same stuff we can use in WinDebug uh, we can run extensions uh, VA dump etc any extensions you, you like we can uh, we can basically uh, call and interface with so that's it for today I hope you found uh, this uh, short uh, video useful and stay tuned for the uh, next videos about uh, the Wendy Bark topic. Thank you.